She is known for being an American psychologist and industrial engineer who pioneered the application of psychology to time and motion studies. She is recognized for being one of the first female engineers to earn a PhD and for her contributions to the field of industrial engineering. Her name is Lillian Mahler Gilbreth. In the annals of scientific history, one name stands out, Lillian Evelyn Gilbreth, an American psychologist and industrial engineer whose impact on the world is truly remarkable. Known as a genius in the art of living, Gilbreth was a pioneer in applying psychology to time and motion studies. She was not only one of the first female engineers to earn a PhD, but also considered to be the first industrial-slash-organizational psychologist. Together with her husband, Frank Bunker Gilbreth, Lillian Gilbreth made significant contributions to the field of industrial engineering. They were efficiency experts who focused on motion study and human factors. Their groundbreaking work revolutionized the way organizations and industries approached productivity and efficiency. Their story is immortalized in the books, Cheaper by the Dozen, and Bells on Their Toes, written by two of their children. These books depict their family life and how time and motion studies were applied to the organization and daily activities of their large family. The inspiring story of the Gilberts and their innovative methods captured the attention of the public and were later adapted into feature films. Lillian Evelyn Gilberts' life and work serve as a testament to the power of applying psychological principles to improve efficiency and productivity. Her pioneering spirit and dedication to her field have left an indelible mark on the study of industrial engineering and organizational psychology, inspiring generations to come. Lillian Gilbreth, a remarkable woman in the field of scientific management, made her greatest scientific discovery in the study of time, motion, and fatigue. Together with her husband, they formed a consulting firm called Gilbreth, Incorporated, where they revolutionized the way work was done. Even after her husband's passing in 1924, Lillian continued to lead the company and carry on their groundbreaking work. The Gilbreths were pioneers in time and motion studies, and they developed their own methodology called the Gilbreth System. Their motto, the one best way to do work, became synonymous with their approach. They were passionate about finding the most efficient way for workers to perform tasks. One of their most significant innovations was the use of a motion picture camera to observe and record work processes. This technique allowed them to analyze the movements of workers and identify areas where improvements could be made. By redesigning machinery and workspaces to align with workers' movements, they were able to enhance efficiency and reduce fatigue. Little did they know that this research on fatigue would lay the foundation for the field of ergonomics. But the Gilbreths didn't stop at physical improvements. They also recognized the importance of a human-centered approach to management. They implemented innovations such as improved lighting and regular breaks to enhance workplace efficiency. They also introduced ideas to promote psychological well-being, like suggestion boxes and free books for workers. Lillian Gilbreth's career in time, motion, and fatigue study was truly remarkable. Her dedication to improving work processes and creating a better work environment made a lasting impact on the field of scientific management. Her legacy lives on in the principles and practices she pioneered, continuing to shape the way we work today. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.